Hey everyone, this is my Rickenbacker 12 string guitar that I recently bought. It is a 1999 360-12 V64. The 36012 is of course the George Harrison model that he used on A Hard Day's Night and Help. And the V64 is a reissue that Rickenbacker started making in 1985. And when they introduced the V64, it was the first time that Rickenbacker had put these toaster pickups back in the guitars since about the late 60s. They had been using high gain pickups, which look and sound different. And people were very excited to see these toaster pickups back in their guitars. Although these new toaster reissues are a little different sounding than the vintage, they're about twice the volume and a little bit darker. The vintage toasters are about 5 to 8 ohms, and the new toasters read at about 10 to 11 ohms. So they're twice the volume. And so on today's shootout, I'll be comparing these hot toasters to scatterwound toasters that I bought which are 7 ohms. They're more a vintage spec, even though they're new. And Rickenbacker currently has scatterwound toaster pickups in their C63 36012 reissues. After the V64 was discontinued in 2001, Rickenbacker started making the C63 reissue, which had the low output toasters, and it also was a little different than the V64. It had a white fingerboard inlay as opposed to these kind of greenish yellow inlays, and also a sharper headstock shape that was more vintage accurate. So on today's shootout, I'll be using these pyramid flat wound strings, like 60s style. And all the settings will be the same in the two clips. I'll be using my 1974 Fender Pro Reverb amp with Weber ceramic speakers. And for overdrive, I'll be using this Klon KTR pedal.